We are reading Psalm 124. Psalm 124. Let's read all of us. One, two, three, let's go. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say. If the Lord had not been on our side when men attacked us, when their anger prayed against us, they would have swallowed us alive. The flood would have engulfed us, engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird out of the fire's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Praise the name of the Lord. My topic this morning is rescued for his glory. Rescued for his glory. Psalm 124 is a psalm of deliverance. Is a psalm of great escape. Is a psalm of escape from danger and escape from disaster. Is a psalm of a testimony of a people who had gone through very uh, serious, uh, dangerous period in their lives. And they wrote for us this psalm. And the psalm is that by saying, by acknowledging the presence of God. He says, if the Lord are not be on our side, let the church say, Israel is the church. If the Lord has not, had not been on our side, he mentions the types of enemies that would have destroyed them. Number one, my point number one is acknowledging the presence of God being on our side. God being on our side. And he repeats two times, if God was not on our side. And number two, he highlights that men would have attacked us. He, uh, he records or uh, brings down some of the enemies that they were fighting with. And your life and my life is a spiritual battle. We are surrounded with danger. We are surrounded by evil every day. Danger from accidents, danger from sicknesses and diseases, dangers from pandemic like now. We are, we are in a coronavirus pandemic and it's spreading very fast now. If the Lord had not been on our side, number one, he says, human enemies would have destroyed us. And some of us, we have human enemies. Men and women, neighbors, our relatives, some of our business partners who fight against us. Some of us even go to the witch doctors so that they can stop our prosperity, so that they can stop our marriages, so that they can do something that will work against your life and my life. We have even the church as a corporate entity. We have enemies and I guess today there must be something negative about the church that will be recorded in the media. And some media houses, they really, they are real enemies of the church. One of the media uh, station, the other day when we came to the service, they called us faithful fools. Those are enemies of the church. If the Lord has not been on our side, our enemies would have destroyed us. Number two, we, have, we are surrounded by dangers from natural disaster or natural calamity. He, say, he talks about floods. He talks of our torrents. He talks of ranging waters. And in our context today, coronavirus is an example of a natural disaster, a natural pandemic. If the Lord has not been on our side, my friends, we cannot go through this pandemic successfully. 
He says also, if the Lord on, uh, was not on, the, on our side, they would have swallowed us alive. We would be torn by their teeth. This is an, an imagery of wild animals. Dangers from wild animals, but also well, danger from demonic attacks. Spirits, demons, the devil who is your enemy, the enemy of the church would have attacked us. Of course, enemy number three is our own flesh. Our own fears. Our own doubts. Even now as believers. Yes, we believe in God, a, God, a God that will take care of us. But sometimes because of what is happening around us and within us and we are human beings, sometimes we may be forced to fear. Fear is an enemy from within. Hallelujah. As we've been praying and fasting uh, so that this uh, 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 pandemic can pass, and uh, we prayed for some weeks with my daughters and praying and fasting, one of them asked me a question. Daddy, the more we are praying, the more cases are increasing. What is wrong? The Lord is not answering or what is wrong? So, that was a very fundamental question. Yes, we are praying, we are fasting. Why are the cases increasing instead of the case going down? That is a question that lingers in your mind and lingers in my mind. And thank God for one of, the, uh, I'm one of my daughters who asked that question. That is also an enemy of your faith, yourself, your own flesh, your mind. Another enemy of your faith is the worldly passions, worldly desires. The world has repackaged sin in a way that sin is presentable. Sin is attractive. Sin promises immediate gratification and e of our desires and promises happiness and joy. It's your enemy. So the writer says, if the Lord had not been on our side, the flood would have engulfed uh, and us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. But uh, point number three, he is praising the Lord. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird. God has made a way out. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, the Bible says, No temptations, temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up and uh, rates. If you are together, shout amen. God will provide a way out. The psalmist says, the Lord has broken the anthers near. He has broken it and we have escaped. The Lord has made a way for you and for me. And that's why we are seated here this morning in this service because we are alive. The Lord has made a way for you and for me. Blessed is holy name. Celebrate the Lord in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, we have escaped like a bird. The snare has been broken. The psalmist has escaped all the four dangers or five of them. Why? Because the Lord broke the snare and the bird only escaped. He did not escape because of his own skill. He did not escape because of his own ability. He has, he has not escaped because he had the ability to take care of himself. This bird has escaped because God intervened to help. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. Where the, the psalmist compares himself and compares the nation of Israel with a bird. 
A bird is a very fragile animal, very weak indeed. If the Lord had not broken the snare of the answer, this bird would not have broken it. If anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. We are nothing. We are as weak as the bird. This coronavirus, COVID-19, has proved to you and to me how weak we are as human beings. Actually, this coronavirus came immediately when the world was shouting, no man is limited. Our own, who is a world champion, running all over the world and saying, no man is limited. This virus has proved indeed we are limited. Nations are limited. Scientists are limited. It's a very simple virus. But killing people in thousands all over the nations. Killing the old and the young. Educated and not educated. The other day in Kenya, we suffered a loss of losing one of the doctors and four nurses to this COVID thing. Why? Because we are just birds. If the Lord is not going to break the snare in Africa, if the Lord is not going to break this snare in Europe, none of us will escape. This time, this pandemic has taught you and has taught me that we are just fragile, weak, limited human beings. Unless the Lord intervenes. Psalms 20 and verse 7 Psalm 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but will trust in the name of the Lord our God. My brothers and sisters all over the world, I want to submit to you this time round in the last four or five months or to people like in China from January to now is July. Our horses and our chariots have not helped us this far. Our dollars has, have not helped us. Our scientific proneness has not helped us. Our chariots and our houses so far have failed us. The only thing we have now is the name of the Lord. COVID 19 is about completely depending on God. Times of crisis at times when we totally depend on God. And I thank God for the church in Kenya has been opened. And this is my prayer. And I want you to join me in pray, making this prayer. God, honor the church. Now that the church the, Church has been opened. Prayer houses have been opened. Men and women are praying, oh God, because of the church, let this pandemic stop in the name of Jesus. That's my prayer. With God, all things are possible. Because our help is in the name of the Lord, our God. That is the only hope we have this far. That is the only thing we can depend on this far. And finally, in verse 8, he concludes this psalm by saying, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Finally, that verse gives us the reason why the Lord has rescued us. He has rescued us so that we can, all of us, make an informed conclusion. And this is the conclusion of the matter. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If you are together, shout amen. It is, our te it is a testimony 
so that we can glorify his name. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God has rescued us for his glory so that we can praise him because of his protection. Praise him because of his deliverance. We need to tell people, if the Lord has not been on our side, we wouldn't be what we are today and where we are this morning. We are here because the Lord has been on our side. If we are together, shout amen. Are we together? Let us stand up in the presence of the Lord as we bless him and glorify his name because he has been on our side. Praise him. Let's tell the Lord we are standing here because he made a way. We are standing here this morning because he has made a way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just because he made a way. We are standing here because he made a way. Everybody lift up your voice and start worshiping the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Just thank, thank the Lord. Wherever you are, just lift up your voice and thank the Lord. Tell the Lord if you have not been on our side, we wouldn't be what we are today. We wouldn't be where we are this morning. Lift up your voice now. Oh, hallelujah. If the Lord has not been in your side, your business would not be what it is today. Your family could not be in this town. Calamities from all over. Yes, in the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and worship him. Lift up your voice and glorify his name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 You made our way. Everybody say, You made our way. When our backs were against the wall, oh yes, and it's broke as you are, it's going to fall. You made our way. And we are standing here on every cross. You made 
that I want to make for you and for myself. And this prayer is from Psalm 121, verse 7 and 8. This is a prayer for you and for me. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over you are coming in and you are going out. Amen. Both now and forevermore. Amen. Celebrate the Lord if you believe in our prayer. Amen. Hallelujah.